All right, what's up, YouTubers and Facebook peoples? Wanted to give you guys a quick look here at the mostly finished product. I still have to put the support back up on the back, back here. You can see it just kind of sitting over there. So I have to get that hooked back up. But system-wise, been cycling since last night. I just added the rest of the media, so my water is a little cloudy. You can see down there, it's not too bad. And I'll probably just change it out, rate pH, and do everything before I add fish again. Here is the flex siphon, which somebody asked about. I um, wanted to show you, let's see if I can get a good look at the drain here. So you can see there, it's just uh, my plywood split out a little bit, so that was kind of annoying. Leaked maybe a tad, but that's why I built it right over the top of the tank, so that if it did drip, it was not a big deal, um, which is definitely true. So that's just a normal flood and drain adapter, three quarter inch and three quarter inch tubing. Mine actually goes down to a T, and you can see that other one that's just looped up in the back there. That's just so that I can um, pump water out the back if I want to uh, drain some out or <coughs> wash some media like I just did. And uh, I just have it tied up right here so that it doesn't drain anything or really affect anything. So, uh, this is the part that you really need to be worried about right here is from the drain comes down comes out here goes up here's our U shape right here I have I like to use mine with adjustable zip ties um, just so that I can move it up and down relatively easily so if I wanted the water level to be higher in the bed I would lift it up here and it would go higher if I wanted to go down it would go down and be lower so in my particular setup this is the bottom of my bed at the top of the first board and these two are both so this is about halfway <clears throat> and then down here is where the drain comes out and we should be able to see it get started here before too long <clears throat> and uh, let's see the what else can I tell you the um, liner is just stapled in it's held mostly in by water weight anyway and as you can see here it's just folded over and stapled I got a little short on this corner over here so I didn't quite make it but it's not going anywhere <clears throat> See, it's a little dirty from rinsing off all the new media. Like I said, that's about to get pumped out. I have old media on the bottom, new media on the top. It took me about, I would say it probably would have taken me four solid 50 liter bags of those pebbles over there. You can see my front porch is a mess from working on all this stuff. This is the plywood that it's lined with right there. You can see that plywood on the outside followed by the insulation, which you can... I guess you can't really see it. Oh yeah, there it is. Anyway, so the foam insulation is in there on the other side. So right now, you can see there's no water coming out, so the bed is filling up right now. There we go, it's just starting to come out. So that means that it's hitting the bottom of this right here. You also don't want to get this too sharp right here. If it flattens out too much, then uh, it won't drain out very fast at all, and you can run the risk of overflowing your bed. So um, I'll probably push this down and put another nail in right above the top just to have a little spot to lock it down. Just like a normal siphon, it starts out slow at first. Once the water gets all the way to the top, the water level passes this, pushes the air bubble out, starts the siphon, sucks the water out so there's no, <coughs> no water left, pulls through an air bubble. It leaves a little bit of water in the bottom, but not, not very much at all. You can see here I actually didn't have a tie at the time, so I actually just kind of triangled that one in there with a couple of screws, and that works good enough. I usually have pipe clamps that just fit over the top, and that would that would probably work best. Um, and then you could slide them up and down to do that. I've done that before too, um, but I didn't have any of those, so I didn't do it. You can see the water level, water flow is picking up down there in the bottom. It actually drains out extremely fast. Let's see if I can. 
I'm up here without falling. You can see the water level coming up there. I have this dug out here underneath. Give you a little angle there so you can see. So there's the water there. Over the top of the drain down here, and I have it marked with one one sideways staple here. So straight out from that is my upside down net cup is down here covering the top of my drain, making sure no media gets in the top of it. Just one of the small net cups and I don't want to knock it out of the way. Where did it go? There it is. So you can see the net cup is buried right down there and it's right over the top of the drain. Right where we want it. That just keeps media from flowing down in. There isn't much of a restriction other than that bend you saw in the pipe over there. And there you go. You can see it drains out that water extremely fast. It's actually already gone from here. You just kind of see it disappearing. And it does not take long at all to drain out the entire bed. You can hear it sucking air a little bit already. I didn't look at the time when it started, but we're about seven minutes into the video. That's for both fill and drain. So it's going pretty fast. There you go, all done. Alright guys, have a good one.